everybody, my name is Dude, and welcome back to Hat and Time Custom Levels. Today we're playing The Ticking Cog, and I still have to poop. Hello. Leave me be, kid, I'm just cleaning up after some dumb prank. To start, someone left a bunch of fake goo claiming to burn or freeze you or whatever. That didn't even work. Literally, the first two pulls functioned just to make players think it was real. And if that wasn't bad enough, there was some western gnome fellow who I had to evict. I hate April Fools. Oh, there was an April... Oh, this was an April Fool's map initially? Well, alright then. Oh, wait, is this moving, or is the gear in there moving? Oh, the gear is moving. The gear we're... The gear we're on right now, at this moment, is... The thing that's on, that's moving. The gear initially below us, which is attached to everything else, is moving. Meaning we can make these jumps. Okay, I see. That's kind of how it worked. This is a really short map. That was a really short map. Interesting platforming concept, but like... The point's right over here. I just need to get on this one. And then, I'm good. Right? Oh shit, I fucked up. Okay, maybe it's not that simple. Maybe it's not that simple at all, and I gotta... I gotta work for it. Alright, so I gotta wait for it. Gotta wait for it. There we go, okay. There we go, this isn't so bad. This is not so bad at all. Do I don't have to climb up? How far? How high do I have to go? Probably this one, because that looks like. Yeah, that, that's that's the height. That's the height. That's the magic height. That did not take long at all. Did the game crash? Did the game just fucking crash? I feel a little cheated right now. Upon grabbing the timepiece, the game decided to freeze up. You know what? We're going to play the next stage. Anyway, next map! Okay, we're back. Needs to be rebuilt. Oh. Well, shit. I guess this needs to be rebuilt. Commentary button. We'll do that again in a second. But apparently this mod needs to be rebuilt. I don't know why. But, uh... Oh. Oh! Oh, no! Oh, no. Oh, no! Oh, I see. Like, it's not a perfectly... It's These are open pizza boxes. Okay, I see. I see what... Oh. Oh! No wonder it needs to be rebuilt. <laughs> This is not how the collision of these works. Oh boy. Oh boy. We'll do the we'll do the commentary in a second, but oh my god, okay. A little weirded out. Sorry I forgot to build lighting. I think lighting's not the issue. I'm standing on nothing at the moment, and then I'm going inside the pizza box's face. What? It's all the way up there. No wonder it needs to be rebuilt. I don't have a way up there. I don't have a way up there. I do not have a way up there. Wait, do I? Do I have... No, I don't. Shit. I was thinking I still had the, uh... The hat that... Well, not the hat. I was thinking I still had... Something I don't have anymore, which is a mod... Th it was the Flood. I thought I still had the Flood. I don't. Uh, let's, uh... See what that commentary is all about. Oh! Oh, I thought that was recording. 
Alright, so, uh, hi, welcome to the uh, Pizza Time Drift Dev Commentary. Uh, uh, the mod took 9 years to make, so hopefully it would have been worth the wait. <laughs> Epic joke game. Alright, so basically, like, I was, one day I was eating pizza. This is, this is how I got the idea of this riff. I was eating pizza, I think it was like a Saturday or something. And then, well, I mean, first of all, it was Volcano Pizza, so it, it was pretty good, but I had too much cheese, so I'm like, what the hell? Um, th that pizza place is not very good. Anyways, I was eating pizza, and then I thought, okay, but what if you could, what if you could jump on pizza? Wouldn't that be fun? So obviously you can't you can't really do the do it in real life because you, I mean if you jump on pizza you're just gonna you're just gonna squish it and, and like get your feet dirty so it's not gonna work you know so right that's why I thought okay video game time so I boot up the hat editor right this was nine years ago keep keep in mind I was pretty damn pretty damn young right. So nine years ago, where I boot up the hat editor, then I just start placing pizza boxes. I thought, where? Let's see where it goes. And at the time, well, did I know that it would be it would lead to one of the greatest levels made in the entire history of humankind, right? Because I mean, we're playing it right now, so as you can see, it's it's very ingeniously level design right so yeah I mean that's pretty much it that's how I got the idea um cut nine years later it's finally done my masterpiece I made all of these pizza boxes myself I prepared them in real life fresh tomato sauce nothing store ball right fresh cheese I made the pizza put them in a box scan them in 3D scan them with my iPod so I get the model in real life um, and in editor sorry okay and then uh, that's pretty much it I have my boxes the texture was on the box so I just scanned the model in real life easy uh, right okay so let's get into the gameplay part well the gameplay part was pretty hard to figure out but I you know I thought well I place. I just placed the pizza box. How could it get any better than that? Well, you make a bigger pizza box. That's how. That's how it gets better. Cause a small pizza is cool, but a bigger pizza is is way better, right? I mean, that makes sense. Um, yeah. So you jump on the pizza boxes. You get the end of the level. So already that's, that's, I mean, it's a hard level, let's be real. I don't know if you're gonna make it to the end, right? We are not. It's impossible. So, yeah, once you get to the end of the level, you grab the timepiece. No, you don't. And then that's pretty much it. You're a happy camper. Although, right here's the cool part, is that you have to cheat to get the timepiece. You have to ghost. So you should go ahead and go to get the timepiece, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Alright, thanks for playing my level, man. I, I don't want a uh, ghost, though. Eat pizza. Uh, how do I ghost, actually? <laughs> well, that, I, I don't want a ghost, so we're not gonna ghost. Uh, I also don't remember how to do that. Probably like un enable underscore ghost. I I don't know Unreal Engine commands that well. So whatever, we're done. Anyway, that was that, I guess. That was an April Fool's map. So was the other one, I think. But like, they fixed it for the most part. I think I would have liked to see how the uh, burning and freezing things worked. If they were 
like, fully implemented and all that. That gear thing is still an interesting concept, and I wish it was a little longer. So, good on ya. And the pizza boxes need their collision fixed. <laughs> yeah, that, that, that's not- that's not how collision's supposed to work. Though it's an April Fool's map, so I shouldn't expect too much of it. Uh, I don't have enough tokens for anything. Shit! I still need to finish this. The main part of this. Wait, wasn't it? Wait. It didn't get fixed. I had a mod on that's supposed to change the title screen of this thing to Granddad, but all that changed was the theme. Well, while this is going, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Leave a like if you did. Subscribe for more. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And thank you to Shron Levial for supporting me on Patreon. And thank you to Whirlybird, Serena Burritos, Dark Castle, and 3DS Master Gaming for supporting me on Twitch. And as always, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye bye!